Why are you always having issues with all these your tete drivers? Why? What is going on again? Those criminals that drive my kike, they want to eat my money. Eh? Look at money first. He did not deliver his uh, uh, yesterday account. Yeah. Papa, you are always having issues with all these your keke drivers. Oh. Did I hear you say yesterday's account? Just yesterday's account. Only yesterday's account and you're shouting like this. Anybody who hears your voice will think that the money is like maybe five days account or even more. My friend, will you shut up? What do you know? Huh. That yesterday's account, do you know how much it is? <laughs> do you know how much they sell, keke, they sell keke in the market? Don't worry. I know what to do. I will change the pattern of my business. Any of them that, 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 that does not want it, I will collect my kick from him. What is it? Papa, I know I do not have what it takes to advise you on this your keke business because I know nothing about it. But one thing is for sure, you can't have all your keke packed here without drivers. It means you need them. Okay, so my advice is just for you to calm down and take things easy with them because they could decide to return your keke or better still even run away with your keke. What will you do then? Just take it easy, oh, and use sense to follow them. You shouting and acting like a dictator would only make them, you know, start thinking otherwise. My friend, will you shut up? That keke they are driving. Do you know how many people that are going around the whole city looking for even way to push? <laughs> and I give them a whole keke. And you're here, you, you are standing here telling me, hey, 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 hey. But they are paying for it, and I give you, it's not like you dash them the keke or you are doing them a favor. Uh-uh. You are doing business. You are collecting money for the keke. Papa, speak for me. I'm just. Ma, ma, for, who should... By the way, who was that person I saw just drop you with a car? I think I didn't see you. Ah, Papa, I was not hiding. I wasn't sneaking around. Ah, ah it's um, Sopuruna, my, my husband to be. He just dropped me off. Your husband to be? Yes, Papa. Does your mother and I know him? Ha. Has he done anything on your head? Have I ever seen him for the first time? And you stand before me telling me I, he's your husband to be? Listen. I don't want to see both of you again. I don't want to see both of you again. Papa, Until I see him here to tell me his intention. I don't want to see both of you again. Papa, everything is gradual and is a stage. I did not say he's my husband though. I said he's my husband to be. That's because I know he has not done anything on my head. Anything formal. He's my husband to be. He starts from there. He'll come and see you. Papa, how can you say you don't know Sopuru? You know him. Is he not a late uh, Mazi uh, Ofona's son? Everybody knows him. I know you know him. I know him as a stop, but I don't know him as my son in law to be. Yeah. Listen, uh, uh, Ugoma, I don't want to see you with that boy again. I don't want to see both of you again. Hmm. Papa, you can't say that, too. You can't even say that. How? Why? No, why? What? what? Papa, please, oh, please. You can't even see. You can't just conclude that yet. Please, oh, don't conclude that, too. Get out of my sight. Huh. Get out of my sight. Papa, you can't say that, too. You can't even say that. My husband to be. I can't see Lunegi. Thank you, Nai. Thank so, you. with this uh, drink, may I know why you're here? Though, so, <laughs> I already know. Because, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I just want to hear it from you to make sure that what I have in mind. Okay, uh, alright, okay, Nai. Yeah. Well, uh, <coughs> well, you might know. You might know. I'm not one for long speeches, but you might know. <laughs> Uh, but to cut a long story short, uh, myself and your daughter, uh, we are—I mean, we have been friends, and indeed we have been, you know, actually more than friends. And um, <laughs> uh, to further, you know, say more, we actually have taken our relationship very seriously, and. This drink represents uh, me coming formally to let you know of our relationship and how, you know, strongly we are taking it to somewhere. Yeah, I thought as much. I thought as much. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I know why you're here, but I just want to hear it from your mouth. Uh, because uh, my daughter has been telling me so much about you, and now you are here. Uh, that shows that everything she told me. Soon. And uh, I have to call my daughter. 
Baby, she must have one or two things to tell us. Hmm? Uh -huh. Um, Biate! Biate, please! Uh, uh, come, 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 come. I don't need water. Uh, please. Uh, please, ma. Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. Please, uh, call me, come out. Right. Well, of course. <laughs> well, of course, Nai, your daughter is expensive as well. Of course, of course, of course. 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 Madam, I don't know you, Guano. I did your jumper. Um, I'm sure you know him. Hmm? Uh, he just walked in here and told me he wants to marry you. That's why I asked your mother to call you so that we hear from you. Because uh, this drink is for this purpose. Let me know. If I should open the drink, or <laughs> man, I, I'm sure I will open it. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, yes, I I know him, and I'll marry him. Eh? You know him, and you want to marry him? Oh yeah, we know quite the good man. Oh my God. Um, uh, stop, my son. <laughs> you had my daughter. She said that she knows you. I want to marry you. Um, what you have to do is you will now go back to your people and arrange with them. I know when to come and do the necessary thing. Eh? She's your wife. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, but uh, if you would forgive me, sir, I would like to also ask for, you know, a list, you know, for, for, you know, your. Very okay, you made the magic. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Uh, um, I am not the chairman of um, of um, and uh, no, don't worry. Before the end of tomorrow, you will get the list. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you so much, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> ma, thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Thank you. If I will, uh, you know, take my leave now. Because ah, so please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my brother. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Um, she will... I'll send that to you, Ma. Yes, Ma. Hey, come on, Ma. When does it come? Hey! This is for men, not for women, so I don't want you to touch this. When you, your daughter, put to bed and you go for Mugo, uh -huh. you take all your abadas, you judge, you paralyze, or all the rest, but you see this one. Uh -huh. Don't play with this one. Please. Hi. 22 bars of yam. 11 cartons of beer. <laughs> 5 bottles of hot drink. <laughs> I mean, this is nothing now. Why, why did these people make this thing look so difficult? Eh? So in machine. This is not, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, brother? Yes. Brother, I, I want to talk to you. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, sit down, sit down. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is not funny. Can you imagine? Yes. Um, brother? Yes. I want to go and uh, see my mom and my siblings. Probably stay there a week and spend time with them. Uh, I'm missing them. You want to go and see your mother and siblings? Mm -hmm. And see them with them. <laughs> you know I know you very well. Why do you want to go and disturb that woman now? No, this is her farming season, so why do you want to go and disturb her? Um, brother. Uh, what? The, the what is the major reason? Tell me, what is the problem? But the truth is, this compound is very big. It's too big. I can't stay here alone and it's boring. I'm lonely. Uh -huh. I'm very scared at night. 
what, what's, what's making you scared? What's making you scared? We have the vigilante, they work very well. What's making you scared? Eh? What's making you scared? And I also sponsored the unit that is right in front here. My compound is big. What is the major reason? You are bored. Mm -hmm. You are bored. Lonely. You are bored. lonely. Oh. Okay. Uh, your brother Tuchuku just finished uh, his GSS, right? Yes, brother. Uh, good. So this is what I'll do. I'll call your mother hmm? and ask her to let Tuchuku be moved here. Uh, he will change school. Okay. Would that be fine by you? Very fine. He will stay here with you, so no more boredom. Very fine. That will be fine. Very fine. Okay, can I have my food now? As soon as possible. Can it be very hot? Very hot. Thank you. I'll get it for you, don't worry. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Rapper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? Eh? That the market is bought? How? How? How, how do you mean? Eh? You be like. Then what are you doing? I get my things out of there. I get my goods out of there now. Get my goods out of that place. You can't go in. Meaning what? Meaning what? See, I'm coming there now, now, now. I'm coming. I'm coming there. The shop, my shop is being burnt everywhere. It's burnt. Go open the gate. Are you okay? Cynthia, what is wrong? Where is your, where is your brother? Is it... Cynthia, talk to me. Why is Sopuru? There is a problem. There is a big problem. Is Sopuru sick? Where is he? Because I've been trying to call him on the phone. He's not picking up. And I think gone back to the city. Talk to me now. What is it? I see one of his boys called him this morning. And the market was on fire. Including his three shops. Everything in the shop is burning. He, he has to run. He has to rush back to the city. I don't know what's hey. happening right now. Everything. <sighs> His shops on fire. That's what this boy said. Hey, Godo, Godo, Godo. This is not true. This cannot be true. God, this cannot be true. This cannot be true. Hey, um. Okay, so. Hey God, uh, hey God, wait. I'm Where are you going to now? I'm coming. Hey God, no. God, don't let this happen, please. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. Oh. Hey Mama, I'm finished too. I'm finished now. Hey, my one is finished now, Mama. Hey God. Mama, where are we going to get money to pay for my marriage, right? If you want to get married, how are we going to feed? How are we going to feed? Hey! God has shaped me. Mama, it's true now. He, he called me my sister. Isn't it so rude that called me some 30 minutes ago? Confirming to me that all the shops are burnt down. The three shops burnt to ashes. Including the goods in all of them. All gone. How can somebody lose all he has worked for all his life in one day? It's not fair now. Hey, how can this even happen to one human being? How? Hey. Oh God, I'm finished. I'm finished though. I'm finished. Hey. It shall be well, oh. Huh? It shall be well. How is it going to be well? When is this going to be well? Start life. 
when and where and how. But I already lose everything in one day, Mama. Three shops and all goods gone just like that. Hey, Mama, this is bad luck now. This is bad luck. Hey, God, God. What is happening here? And you go why are you cry? Hmm. My, that is problem. That is problem. Soporos market was on fire, and his three shops got burnt, including the goods inside. Huh? Who gave you this news? Sopro was still in this village this morning, when one of his boys called from the city, telling him what happened. He rushed to the city to confirm. He just called Ugoma now, telling her that uh, his three shops got bought, including the goods inside. Problem. Hey, three shops, including the goods, we got bought. Hey! Um, is that why you want to kill yourself? Is that why you want to kill yourself? Eh? If you are the, the shop that in his shop got bought, uh, you, you, you can hang yourself. Will you hang yourself? Are you the one that put the fire in the market? Please, as you can see, I am just coming back and I want to rest. Why are you talking like that? What kind of language is this? Eh? We are talking of someone's many years of suffering. Hey, Mbanu. Besides, that boy is, is, is your son-in-law to be you. Hey! Hey! Now you are talking. Thank God you say your son-in-law to be. Not yet my son-in-law. When the time comes, if he's capable of marrying my daughter, fine. But if he's not, you should go and fight his match. Uh -uh. You people are disturbing me. Papa, honestly. Papa, are you honestly saying this about someone who lost everything he has worked for? All his life in one day? Papa, are you talking about your son-in-law to be? Your daughter's husband to be? Papa, even if you don't know him, a man who lost everything. All three shops gone, burned down to ashes. And this is all you have to say, Papa. Ah. No, Papa, you shocked me, oh, you shocked me. I no don't problem. Don't, I don't, don't understand you. Is, is, is this your daughter okay? Is, your, is she okay? very, very okay. What kind of man being are you? Eh? Instead of you to pity the poor boy and, and find a way of helping him, you are here mocking him. I should pity the boy. Ah, because his shop got burnt, I should lie down and roll on the ground crying. Okay? I should lie down on the ground roll, rolling, crying because his shop got burnt. Anyway, thank God you are beginning to understand my point. You just caught him, poor boy, with this your mouth. You caught him, poor boy, with this your mouth. And that is exactly what he is now. That is what he is. My, my friend, go, 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 go give me my food. I did not cook any food, though. You did not cook any food? I did not cook. You did not cook any food? Yes. Don't try that. Try that, come back up on and get to the moon. Get to the moon. I'm going to go to the gate here. And I'm going to go to the gate. I'm going to go to the gate. I'm going to go to the gate. All the money I'll be giving you. What? Get, my, get me my food, though. Beatrice! Beatrice! Get me my food! Mm -hmm. My love. So finally, this is true. Hey! How I hoped it wasn't. So, how did it happen? What, what caused the fire? What did they say? I'm done for. Finished. I'm finished. I'm. I'm done for. It's over. It's, it's over now. It's, it's, it's over for you. It's over. No, why would I talk like that? Why? Why? Why not? I mean, till now, nobody has been able to trace the source of the fire. Nobody. Till now, nobody has been able to trace the source of the fire. They said the fire started before 6.20 a.m. Okay. Alright. It started from inside. 
Then they called fire service. By the time fire service came, my whole line had been burnt. Everything burnt. My three shops gone. Not one thing out of the shops. Not one thing. No TV was rescued. No freezer was rescued. Nothing. Everything gone just like that. Supper is finished now. It's over. Look at me. Supper. You mean the, the, the three shops? Bonds. Bonds. All the shops. God, what kind of what is this? What kind of problem is this, God? What kind of problem is this? How do we? How do we start? How do we start? So, I am willing to ask you. What about your car? The car has been sold now. Huh? I need to sell the car and other valuable things, you know, to pay people who gave me goods on credit. Even with selling those things, I'm still owing people. As it is, everything in my house in the city gone. I had to sell off everything, everything, everything gone, everything in the bank, the small thing, everything gone, and I'm still owing. That's why I had to come to the village. Everything gone. There's nothing about me in the city anymore. So oh, what do I God. Papa. Come with your mother. Sir? I said come with your mother. Papa. I called you here in the presence of your mother to ask you one or two questions. Okay. For some time now, I have watched you carry my food out of this house to that surplus house to feed him. I want to ask you, what is the meaning of that? Papa, nothing. You know. Uh, you know, since after the fire incident that, you know, took everything that he had, life has not been the same for him. Papa, you know the story now. He can barely eat. So, I can't be eating in this house comfortably when I know that he's somewhere dying of hunger. I mean, it's just food for one person. And I know that we don't lack food in this house. I mean, that's the least thing I can, I can give to anybody. Papa, that's, that's, that's why. All right. All right. Let me ask you. The food you are taking to him, are you the one providing the food? Are you contributing anything in this house? Eh? Papa, like I'm supposed to contribute money to food in this house. I don't understand though. Papa, how? How is that even possible? I live in my father's house. Besides, I know you can afford it. It's not like we're suffering. We're not poor. And, hey, Papa, I don't even do anything for a living. You are my father and this is your house and I live here. So I don't know that I'm supposed to be contributing money for food, even if I, I should. Where am I going to get the money from? I'm not working. I'm not doing anything. I'm not selling anything. Ha! Well, thank God you said you are still in your father's house. You are not working anything and you are not contributing anything. That my food you are taking to stop us, I want you to stop. I don't have food to waste to beggars. Papa, please, who is the beggar in this your story? Whoever you are taking my food to is a beggar because he doesn't have it. He don't have it. And I want you to stop. Okay, sir. Um, let me also ask you. Since that person you have been taking my food to is no longer doing anything, what are your plans towards him? My plans? How? I don't understand. Some time ago, he came here. Telling me that he wants to marry you and you accepted. Mm. Now that he's not doing anything, he's done as poor as church rat. How is he going to take care of you if you become his wife? Ah, Papa, oh, that is what you are talking about. Ha. As regards that, me, I've not changed my mind. I'm still going to marry him. Either ways. It doesn't matter whether he's poor 
rich. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's still my husband to be. I'll marry him. You have not changed anything. Mm -mm. Now let me ask you, if you marry him now, how will you be eating? Papa, anything we see, we eat. We will manage. We'll be okay. Last, last, we'll be all right. You will be managing. And anything you see, you eat. Your wine. You had your daughter. What do you have to tell her? What do you want me to tell her? There's nothing to tell her. She made herself clear. She said she will marry him. There's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, you say. But I only see to be put of you. From today on, I don't want that boy's name mentioned in this house again. Do you hear me? I don't want that boy's name mentioned in this house again. Else, this house will not accommodate all of us. You see those men mm. that have been coming here asking for your hand in marriage before that fool deceived you? Mm. Choose one of them. Okay. Choose one of them and get married to him. Choose one of them. Okay, sir. I've said my mind. Okay, sir. Um, Papa, please let me go back to the kitchen. I was cooking before you called me. In other words, I'm not making any sense. Ah, I did not say so. You have made your point and I heard you. Let me go back to my cooking. We are not fighting. You want to go and cook. Mm. So when you cook, finish, you carry my food and go and give to that supply again. Don't worry, I'm here. Let me see how you will carry my food and pass this place. Hey, Mama, let me go back to my, my, my cooking. Mm. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh. Talk to your brother. You are working out too. You are working out. Mm. Mm -mm, no, my love. I know you. I know you're a wonderful cook, but you see, this one is different. Uh uh. Mm. You put more love into cooking this. I'm telling you. Seriously. My love. Mm. What's going on? Mm? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. What's happening? What's going on? No, it's it's okay. I'll wait for you to finish eating so that we can talk. No, I'm not going to eat. What's what's happening? Oh, no, I insist. Just finish up your meal and then we'll talk. No, no baby, please don't, no, no, don't, don't let no, me ruin your appetite. I'm done. I'm done. Really, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, talk to me. You can't just eat all. No, talk to me, please. What's happening? I can't eat when you're sad. Come on, talk to me, please. Talk to me. Hmm? Talk to me. It's it's my father. Your father? What about your father? What happened? My father called me and my mom yesterday. Okay. And he warned me against ever bringing food for you. In fact, he said he never wants to see me take food out of the compound. And that's not all. He also asked me about my proposed marriage to you. I didn't understand it at first until he went further to say that that now that everything, I mean, you've lost everything, your businesses and all, and she don't have anything you're doing right now, that he wants me to totally forget about you and not and not think of, think of the marriage proposal. Instead, 
that I should choose I should choose amongst those other people that are coming to ask for my hand in marriage. He said you can barely feed and that you can't feed me. That you can't even feed yourself, talk more of feeding feeding me. You needed to have seen the look on his face when he was saying all this. He meant it. He was serious. He looked scary. You mean he said all that? Yes. And what did your mother say? My mother was on my side. She said if marrying you will make me happy, then she, she's in support. It doesn't matter whether you're poor or rich, that if I'm happy, then, then it's fine by her. Ah, life. Life. Ah, life. So, so because my shops are now burnt, because I am now broke, your father now, now insults me, calls me all sorts of names because life has taken an ugly turn. Life. I mean, the, the one that hurts me most is, is Cynthia. You know, Saint Cynthia, what did that girl do? I had to send her back to her parents because I, I'm broke. I can't take care of her and take care of myself too. You mean you sent her back? Of course I had to. I had to. Why are you talking as if you don't know what is going on? Why are you talking as if you don't know my state? I mean, this is food from your house. You bring food to me here from your house. Would I have ordered two flasks? Two flasks will come here? What would that make me? What? It's, 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 okay, it's okay. One thing I know for a fact is that everything happening now, it's only but temporal. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be fine. God will fix it. Okay? Uh, I, you're, going to, you're going to bounce back. You are going to be on your feet again soon. I believe it. Okay, don't give up. Don't give up, please. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst that can happen to you. Okay? Don't give up. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that there could just be one way out of what out of this. What way? What way? What way? What way? And this is my condition. What way? From where? From where? Um, so <sighs> Make me a woman. What do you mean, make me a woman? What? 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 Gets me pregnant. <coughs> Stop, bro. Sir. Save yourself. Uh, uh, my my law, I'm fine, sir. No, no, no. Save yourself, no problem. No. Save, save yourself. My law, I'm. I'm... I'm fine. I, I know you're fine. This is Okwego's house. You can come to Okwego's house and refuse to take something. Save yourself. My in law, see, the truth of the matter is that, you know, this time, this period, I, I, stop, I don't drink. Oh, so stop, I'm not stop drinking. Stop it. Stop it. I know what you like. I know. Stop yourself. No problem. Stop yourself. 
if you if you insist, sir. Sir. Um, you see this drink? Yes, sir. I want you to look at this name, and you will see that it's a big drink. So that before you serve yourself, you will ask yourself, after taking this drink today, will you be able to buy it tomorrow? This drink is so expensive, and it is my friend's son that stays abroad that gave it to me. Eh? So that is why I brought it. Because what I'm about to tell you is very, very expensive and very, very important. Eh? So don't worry. After today, you will know quite well why I serve you this drink. But don't worry, I will serve you myself. Sir, I... Is this one okay? Sir, I don't understand, sir. Don't worry. You will understand. Let me cover me. Aha! Sir, I sent for you. And uh, I know my daughter must have told you what uh, I told her. But in case, if she did not, I will tell you. And I want you to open your ears wide so that you can hear me clearly. So, I want everything you have to do with my daughter, every relationship you, you have with my daughter to end today. Why? Why no why? Because my daughter Ugoma is no longer available. My in-law. Why would you say a thing like that now? Well, the reason is simple. I will tell you. I don't want my daughter to go into a man's house and starve herself to death in the name of marriage. You yourself, you know that for the past months now, you are not doing anything. You, you, you are idle. So how will you feed my daughter? How will, you, how will you take care of her? Huh? How will you take care of her? You don't have any job. You don't, nothing. You have even sold your car. Okay, now let me ask you. How do you feel? I don't, know, I don't understand this question. You don't understand? I don't understand. I will tell you. This you don't understand, I will tell you. All the food stores I have in this house. Bag of rice. Beans. Gary, even Pamoyo, my daughter has packed all of them to your house. Look at you. Look at how you are shining. You don't even look like somebody that is idle, somebody that is not doing anything. Look at you, how pompous you are, how you are shining. Because I know that my daughter must have packed all my food in your stomach. So, so that's it. you see, that is how you feel. Nayo <sighs> Okuego. Please, I mean, with due respect, you know me, you know me, you know I was rich, I was doing well, so well for myself, you know the incidents that happened, my shops got burnt in the inferno, I mean, I mean, I was doing well and you know the last goods I ordered, I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay for them and then everything went. You know what happened with the customs? I lost everything all at once. And not for that, I was doing well. But I believe I will stand again. This is not the end of me. I will stand again, believing God. Soporo. Yes, sir. Soporo. Yes, sir. I get that before not the property. Eh? Hmm? I get that before not the property. The fact is that you are not doing anything. You are jobless. You don't have anything. You cannot feed my daughter. So please, I beg you in the name of God, stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you take 10 take, take, take miles close to my daughter. I will not warn you again. Anyway, um, I thank God for this uh, peaceful uh, separation. Because like I said, everything will end today so. and that is why i brought this expensive wine because this thing we discuss here now is very very expensive expensive that if you try any nonsense again you will not like what i will do to you let's cheers
for the peaceful separation. Throw the chairs, okay? When you are done, you know your way out. I know. No need to stay here because there's no food here to serve you today. Thank God my daughter is not around. She found her. I said, come back here. Come here. Papa, you see me? Papa, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Come back. Come, 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 come. come. Papa, what are you hiding? I said, come back. Come, come, come here. Come and stand here. Papa, I'm just, um, I'm just going to buy something. I'll come. Let me. Uh, you want to go and buy something? Yes, Papa. In Sopro's house. house. Okay. With my food. Papa, we. Ha. Papa, which food? Which food? Which, then what are you hiding? Bring, bring that bag. I want to see what is inside Papa, that bag. I'm not holding any bag. Papa, ha. come close here. Bring that bag. Come and stand here. Come. Ha, Papa, Papa, you, you have to be seen well, though. You have to be seen well because maybe you need your glasses to, 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 to see well. How can you say I'm holding something when I'm not holding anything? Please let me just go and buy something. You know that was I'm blind. Eh? I can't see well again. I didn't say so. Ugoma, bring that bag. I want to see what is inside that bag. Bring that bag. Papa, because bag. I know that must be my food. You want to take to that stupid boy. So bring that bag. Ugoma, I don't want to get up. Because if I get up, I will hit you with this stick. Bring that bag. Let me have it. Let me have the bag now. Papa, this is not this is not good though. This is not this is not fair. This thing you are doing is not good. If nobody oh. tell you the truth, I will tell you the truth. It's not good. So Ugoma. After all my warnings that I don't want to see you with that boy again, that fool. You say had the God to take my food to him. Okay? Even spoon. Even spoon. So, he don't even have spoon. The simplest thing any person can have in this world, spoon. So he's as poor as not having common spoon. Common spoon. You see your life? Papa, it's not good. This is your character. It's see not your life? Good. With all the money that you have in this life, I don't even know what you're doing with money, sir. What are you doing with your money? Get me water. Water for what? Get me drinking water. Here. See, you have, you have to change your ways if you must make heaven. No? Because you're just, you're just keeping money and keeping money. The, the simplest thing to give to anybody in this life is food. You cannot even afford to give, give anybody food. Papa, you're too stingy. Yo. Yeah, man, egg. Aqua Naji. Aqua? Yeah, man, egg. Yeah, man, egg. Yeah, man, egg. Is it's okay? Give like me water. Is it a big deal? Is it a big deal? Papa, see, and change your ways, okay? I don't know why. All this money that you're keeping, I don't know where you're taking it to. Eh? This money cannot, 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 cannot take it anywhere, okay? Cannot take it, cannot take it to heaven. Cannot take it to heaven. Let me go and give you the water and rest. In short. Thank you. Give me the water. When was the last time you served me this kind of food? And I'm told this is the only one you cooked today. For that stupid boy. Thank you. Thank you. But remember that there is God and there is tomorrow. There is God and God is in everybody. He's in all of us. This Thank morning you. You, cannot, you cannot take it to heaven. Even the Bible says feed your enemies. Thank God you know that is my, my enemy. It's not your enemy. You know. It's not your enemy. As I'm telling you, what, you the Bible, what the Bible, Bible said. You just eat and grow fat though. It's only when you wait. Papa, if you don't grow fat after eating this egg and yam, that's when you will face me. Atta langi. You may go down the lake, okay? Now, we will be one of the new people you do. Mama, 
Me, I want to ask you one question. Papa, your husband. Why is he so stingy? Mama, since I was born, Papa has not done anything good. He has not shown love to anybody. He has never assisted anybody financially. Not an insider, not an outsider. Why? Look at him. Though. Is he your father? Go and ask him. Mama, I saw him before asking you. You and I know that I cannot go and ask Papa that kind of a question. But I'm asking you because you are his wife and you are in the best position to answer me. Wait, too. Has Papa's stinginess always been, I mean, from the time you people got married? Or somewhere along the line he picked up that trait? Because I'm just confused. I'm wondering, if he has always been like this, how have you been managing with him all these years, living with a man like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. <laughs> Papa's stinginess is not only to outsiders, though. Even we, as his children in this house, we are feeling the heat of his stinginess. Take a look at my brother Johnson. Where is he? What sent Johnson out of this house? It's not because of a past stinginess and unwillingness to give him money to, to, to see him through school. A boy who was willing to go to school. Since two years ago that Johnson left this country, we have not heard anything from him. We don't know if he's doing okay or not. We don't, in fact, we don't even know where he is. Okay. Papa's attitude towards Sopuru. All because the young man suddenly lost everything. Okay, what about me? Am I not Papa's legitimate daughter? Am I not his child? Common money for Jambo. I've been in this house. Papa cannot give me money to go and buy jam form. He said I should go and learn her handwork. For somebody who wants to go to school. Some men are ready to sponsor their children. It's, in fact, it's the children who are not ready to bring their heads down and go to school. But in my own case, I'm ready to go to school. I have a father who can afford it, who has the money. But yet, he said I should go and learn handwork. <clears throat> Look at the house we live in. Considering Papa's wealth, are we not supposed to have like a duplex in this compound? Yes, oh yes, he can afford it. But no, he won't. Come on to buy clothes for himself, no way. Papa has been wearing the same set of clothes for like how many years now? All he does with his money is to buy keke upon keke upon keke upon. In fact, Papa wants to fill the entire road with keke. Who does that? That's his only way of showing wealth. Keke, keke, not even reasonable. Keke. Ha, Mama, you have really tried to have married this man up to this level. You have tried. <laughs> Stingy man. I am tired of this, but I can't see it. He's the type that doesn't want anybody to put him out hmm. or to talk to him about anything he's doing. Ah, no, wow. So I have decided to start on my own. Let him do whatever he wants. Hmm. Mama, you have tried though. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Okay. Ah! 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 Pregnant? Eh? Ha! Pregnant, Kwa! You say, huh? Ugoma, you're pregnant? Papa, please, oh, Biko, 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 don't call my name and add pregnancy to it, oh. How, how can you call my name and call pregnant? How? how? It's the only pregnant people that vomit. Equipment. Don't you hear? Mama just said that it's possible I have malaria, typhoid, or warm. Yes. If somebody is suffering from either of these three, you can, you can actually vomit now. Ugoma, you're pregnant. You are pregnant. At least I know one when I see it. Papa, you a doctor? Ah, ah, how can you be sure? Ma, what do you mean by that? Can you Ask me, me oh. Eh? Can somebody not? <coughs> hey! Who got my? Hmm? 
is it true? Are you pregnant? Oh, you are counting one, two, three. Oh, go ahead, be seated. I'll be with you. You are counting one, two, three. Woman, have you seen it? Have you seen your daughter? Your daughter is pregnant. Are you not ashamed that you are in this house and your daughter is pregnant? You don't know. Now tell me what makes you a good mother. It's like. It's like. Hey. I am not a daughter, but at least I know when, when a woman is pregnant. You taught me that when I married you newly. At least no time you got pregnant without committing. And that is not what is happening here now. You see it? And you, I don't even need to ask you where that's supposed because I know it must be that stupid the boy suffer that uh, 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 put into this. He has offloaded all the energy from my food you have been giving him. He has offloaded them into your into your stomach. But don't worry, I know what to do. You, you, that is you see your life. Look at your daughter. She's pregnant. You don't know. She said, I can't tell what to do. I'll be the Abbey where they say. You see? No problem. I know what to do. Hey! Stop crying. Stop crying. My love, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I mean, I'm afraid of what your father might do to me, you know? I mean, the disgrace. You feel dishonored. Read. So cool. We are in this together. Okay? We are in this together. I know, I know, but we're broke. As fast as we are broke. I mean, there's, there's no food even in the house. There's no money right now to buy anything for our unborn child. We are broke. Look, we've not done that, not to talk of, you know, getting the things the king's men need. And you know, in our tradition, it's wrong to keep a, some a pregnant woman in your house without... Look, so I don't know. So for you listen to me. Um, here's what I think we can do. Let's run around. I mean, you and I. Let's put our heads together. Let's see whatever we can get from anywhere, however little it is. The king's, the dreams for the king's men is not, is not like do or die for now. I mean, we can always come back and do that when we're ready. But if we can as much as just get the bride price, we're good to go. The bride price, small cola and you know, just, you know, and we can always come back and do the whole big ceremony. Look, listen to me. I understand everything you're saying. But look, it's not the end of the world. Oh yes, we're broke. But that we're broke today does not mean we're going to be broke forever. Or even tomorrow. Okay? All of these things you've mentioned now, it's going to fall into place. I don't know. This is why. Why now? Why me? This was nothing. Now this this whole thing was hey. so money to me before I'm, now. Look, look at me. I don't know. Sopro, do you love me? Of course, I love you. Good. Do you still want to marry me? Why not? I want to marry you. Do you want us to spend the rest of our lives together? Yes. You see, that's all that matters. This is all that matters, what we share, you and I. You love me and I love you. And that we both are ready to stay together the rest of our lives. It's all that matters. Every other thing is just a formality. And we will get to that bridge and cross it. Okay? My love. Share all. Don't give up on me. I'm 
I have to thank you very, very much for accepting us the way we came. Uh, I also want to assure you that your daughter, our wife, is in very safe hands. We will take very, very good care of her. I assure you of that. Um, when we are ready for the traditional marriage and, uh, of course, the white wedding, we will let you know. Hmm? We will let you know. I Meanwhile, I pray that the gods of our land shall continue to bless you. No more. 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 Thank you very, very much. Uh, uh, we appreciate your coming. In fact, um, we are overwhelmed. My daughter, Ugum Tarata, Uyoko Yokumwa, Neo, Biko Badokwanya. This is your husband. Always search his heart and satisfy him. That is one of the qualities of a good wife. Supper so my in-law. You know very well that this is my only daughter. Now please, take good care of her. You know? And God will continue to make your marriage to be fruitful. In Jesus' name. He said... You know? He said... <laughs> nah. I don't know what you have to tell them so that they will start going. It's getting dark already. What do you want me to tell them? You have said it all as a man of the house. What do you want me to say? Uh, well, um, you all have heard what your in-law, Nai Beatrice, has said. Hmm? You have heard him or her. I don't know which one, uh, which one is the correct one. And you? You have given, given out your daughter's hand in marriage to them without drink. Make sure when your fellow homeowner come, you give them that drink because they must surely ask for it. He must go. Narrator, it's here, Beatrice. It's here, Ibem. Narrator, I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I'm um, Ichie has said, you can now go. She has given you her daughter, daughter's and the marriage. You can go. Okay, why are you not why are you not eating? Hmm? I'm worried. Worried over what? Over everything. I mean in two months you put to bed. And no bought anything for the child. No clothes yet for our unborn child. Not even talk of hospital bills. I mean, when I remember all these things, it, I mean, my heart just breaks. I... <sighs> I understand you, baby. I, I understand. 
But what can we do? Hey, what are we going to do? Um, I think I might have a suggestion. You mm. have a suggestion? I think so. Okay, what is it? I've been thinking on my own too. I don't know if you can approach my dad so that he can give you one of his keke to drive. That way, we can save up something. I mean, if he gives you and you're driving it, even if you're doing daily accounts to him, you will still have something left. I mean, there's no way you go out to drive keke every day that you won't have at least something to come back home with. And then before you know it, we will start saving towards our unborn child. In fact, before these two months that we're expecting our baby, we would have bought almost everything with, that we need. My love, you have a point. It's a good idea, yeah. but uh, I doubt that will, <laughs> that will ever happen because uh, your father hates me now. He hates me. The man, you know, he can't stand my sight. So, I mean, <laughs> it's impossible. It's nothing is impossible. I know that my father hates you. But you can only try. There's no harm in trying. In fact, you're not going to buy any form or fill any form mm. or pay any money to ask. It won't cost you anything. Let's just ask. How can we know when we have not even asked now? Eh, let's ask. There's no harm. Okay. Better still, I can ask first. I'm his daughter. He's not a devil now. However wicked he is, there's no way he would deny me. So let me ask him first. I'm sure he would grant. You can go ahead and try, but uh, I doubt. I doubt. Hey. I doubt. I doubt. My Lord, why are you so? Why are you so? Why are you? Why are you being negative? Because I know the man. That man doesn't like me now. See, eh? you need a positive thinking mind. There's a lot of good in positivity, you. You don't know, and you can't just you can't you can't approach things like this without um, this thing. Okay. But, uh, please don't be don't be don't be negative. Okay, no problem. Hmm? Okay, okay. And you see that my father, eh? <laughs> my father is a nice man, oh. low key. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's your cool. See, the only problem that man has is his, is his money. He doesn't joke with money, anything money. <laughs> in fact, he loves his money more than his life. And that's why I believe that he's going to grant this request because this is business. As long as he don't default. My father likes money. You're greasing his palm. And that, that's all that matters to him. So please, I'll go and ask him. Like I said, go and try. I'll try. And I will not only try, I will succeed. He will grant us. If you say so. I say so. Now, finish up your food. I've been the only one eating this food. Mm. Please get up. No, 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 no. Your condition is not good for, for you to be kneeling with it. Biko, biko, be near, please. please. Please get up first. Get up. And then get up. Bini. Sit down. It's okay. Nine. Please. Help our daughter. Help them. She needs your help. You have a lot of keke on the road. Help our son-in-law with one. He will be accounting for you. From there, he will be saving up money for our daughter's delivery, for hospital bills, for the coming of the newborn baby. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Papa, be cold. Papa, please. Papa, have mercy. Please. 
Have you seen it? Have you seen it? It has started. Because when I was warning you, I was telling you, get married to a suitable person that can take good care of you. He said no. Hey, Papa, I love him. You love him. I love him. Now, you said that. But I was a love. Let that love feed you or give you money to wait for your delivery. I don't know why you children of nowadays handling, uh, listen to uh, elderly advice. If I said I will not do anything now, we say, my, my father is wicked, uh, he is heartless, he has a heart of uh, 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 stone. Forgetting that I won't do this, I won't do it before when, when nothing has happened. It's okay. You have seen it? Papa, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't kneel like that. I'm sorry now, I'm sorry. It's okay. Papa, I'm sorry, I love you. It's okay. I love something, I love you. Huh? You love him. I am talking and you are still talking about love. You love him. About love. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Don't kneel down. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ask him to see me. Let me see what I can hey. do. Hey. Papa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Papa, thank you. Hey. Namdalo. But you have to warn him that I don't joke with the money. I found Bokwego. My name is Sokwego. I don't joke with the money. It's your make it with Warn him. Tell him that I don't go with my money so that he will make sure that he'll be in my account every day. Fail him to do so. He will not like my action. Papa, no problem. Papa, I promise you. I'll make sure that he, he does his daily returns. I, I promise. You had her. You had her. Okay. He will. Papa, Papa he will. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. One like One like Are you not done cooking that food? No, I'm almost done. No, you're almost done. Come on! Now you wouldn't know why you're on. Eh? Take it easy, young guy. This guy is too lazy. Hey, hey! I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to help him so that he won't have my bed. Ah, is she not old enough to cook? I'm going to go and help. Ah, your father is bad. Papa, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm going to go. Easier. <laughs> okay. Um, your wife has talked and talked and pleaded on your behalf. And uh, the reason I accepted to do what I want to do now is because she is my daughter. And I don't need to talk too much again. That keke packed out there, I will give it to you. Thank you on higher purchase for 800,000 naira. That keke is a new keke. I bought it two years ago. And uh, one more thing. You will be paying 4,000 naira every day as your daily account. Any day you complete your 800,000, the KK becomes yours. Have I made myself clear? Um, 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 yes, sir. But, sir, um, 800,000, you know, Papa. I... Papa, I mean, this is, if you want to help us, just help us for real. How can you say 800,000 error? How are we going to recover from that? No, how are we going to save for our unborn child? 800,000 naira for that old keke pack out there, Papa. 800,000 naira. Is that how much you collect from other people? Hmm. It's too much. 800,000 naira is too much. Look at this one. 800,000 is too much. Do you know that I collected that keke from, from the driver because of you? And you are telling me that 800,000 is too much. Do you know how much that person is supposed to balance me? In fact, I'm no longer uh, giving sir, you. Sir, my, my, my in-law, please, I will, I will take it. We'll take the keke. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, we'll take, we'll take, darling, please, please, nine. please, uh, we need this money now, please. My, please, can I say something? No, this is business. You don't have to say anything because you don't know anything about business. Uh, um, my in-law, we'll, we'll take the keke. 
we take the key. Please, can I have the key? The key? Yes. Um, first of all, we have to sign some papers no before giving you the key. No Let me get the, get the papers and the key no so that tomorrow you will not deny me. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. God keep you, sir. Please, I know what I'm doing. We need this money. Let's not pretend like we don't. Please. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Please. Don't shout. Please. Ah. Ah. My wisdom. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Ah. Easy, easy. Oh my, my god. Love, my love, easy, oh. easy, easy, easy. Just one step at a time. One step, one step at a time. One step, one step at a time. One step at a time. Yes, you're doing well, my love. You're doing well. You're doing well. Easy, 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 okay, easy, 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 easy. Okay, one step at a time. Okay, one step, one step at a time. One step, one step. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. You're doing well. Just one step at a time. One step, one step, one step. Huh? One step. Good, good, good. Remember. Huh? Remember. Good, 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 good. You're doing well. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. Um. You got things for the baby, eh? The bag for the baby, what about it? It's inside, it's inside. It's inside? Mm. It's inside. Okay, let's go to the cake no. first. Eh? Go and get it. Eh? I'll get myself to the cake. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, okay. Are, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, manage you. Wait, wait, what is this now? What's wrong with you? Eh? eh you said? Oh, what, 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 what? What? My wait, my wait. You said you were going to manage. I can't manage you. No, no, go, 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 go. Okay, go. Okay, my love. Okay, easy, easy. Easy, my easy. Waist. I'm holding your waist now. Waist now. I'm holding it. Easy, 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 easy. You're doing well. You're doing well, my love. You're doing well. 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 Yes, my darling. Yes. Yeah, I'm holding. I'm holding you now. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. You're doing well. Yes, yes, yes. You're doing well. We're almost there. 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 Carry my leg. Huh? Carry my leg. Easy, easy. It's this one. This one. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm easy. I'm easy. Easy now. I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. I should carry the second one. Okay. 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 All right. Um, oh, the bag, the bag. Sorry, easy, 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 oh. Easy. Uh, my love, my love, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, God. I'm here. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Oh God. Sorry, my love. Hurry now, uh, hurry. I'm hurrying now. Hey. Uh, nurse, nurse, please. What was happening? Um, what, what's going on now? Why are you wasting time? What's happening now? I, I should have heard the cry of a baby now. What's going on with my baby? Your baby? Yes. Is your baby sick and want to take injection? Which one is uh, baby sick and wants to get injection? My, my wife is in the labor room now and I expect to hear the cry of a baby by now. But I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm coming from the ward and not the labor room. Sorry. Ah, but you are wasting too much time now. They should have given you information on what is going on now. Is this the way you, my, somebody's heart is flying somewhere now? Ah, you should know how to do these things quick now. Let this baby come out quick now. Ah, ah, uh -huh. um, doctor, what's, what's happening? What's happening, please? What's going on with my baby? What's happening? I'm not here to cry of my baby now. Calm down, Mr. Sokol. Everything will be fine. <laughs> but we have a little complication. Complication? Well, what's the complication? What happened now? But it's not much of a problem. And then what is now? the problem now? What's the problem? Okay. Your wife has to undergo a caesarean section before she can have her baby. And that means... An operation has to be carried out. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Okay, you just need to pay a certain amount of money and then sign some papers before we can start working. Like how much? Say 120,000 naira. 120,000 naira? 120,000 That's too much now. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, uh, no, no problem, but I'm, uh, hey, God. You can do this, Mr. Sokol. You can't. You see, I can do it. You don't know what my pocket looks like, but no problem. I'll, hey, God. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go and get uh, uh, the 120,000 naira, but please, just go and bring out the baby. Eh? I'll, I'll bring the money, please. Eh? Hurry up, we please, have no time. Please, please. Okay. 
Okay, please let me Mr. Chine do files now. Okay. Now. Agree, then I'll pay him back. I'm sure he will help. one that cried now, nobody has given me any information. And she'll be fine, but I've not heard anything now. Is it that? Hey, doctor, doctor. Uh, eh, eh. Congratulations, Mr. Sopor. It's a baby boy. Hey, boy! Yes. Ah! No, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, doc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, 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 how is my wife and baby? They're fine. They're fine. They're fine, I would have told you. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can, so I can go and see them, eh? Not yet. Eh? You'll see them soon in a jiffy. Eh? Are still How long now? Few more minutes. Eh? Few more minutes. Few more minutes. Eh? Relax. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's thank you. Be fine. Hey, I hope everything is fine. Everything, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is okay. Uh, She's fine. Yes. The baby is fine too. Yes. Does it look like me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, how long? How long? How long will I wait now? It will take long. Like how long? One neck. Like I told you, please always be cooking for my husband. Okay, ma. You know, you know he likes eating. I don't want to complain. Okay, ma. Please. Oh, look at him. Now you are back. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. And where are you going? Can you all the bags? Uh, now, I, I, we discussed yesterday now that I'll be going for our daughter's or Mugwa today. Yeah, can't quite Did that not tell us that you are going nowhere? Huh? Did I not tell you that you are going nowhere? Let me ask you, Beatrice. If you go for this or move, you just pack everything, wear your Christmas clothes, about to leave this company. Who will be cooking for me? Who will be taking care of other things in this house? Uh, nah. Can't one neck be doing that? She can be cooking for you, of course. And our daughter, if I don't go, who will be taking care of her? You know this is her first time. She needs somebody to be taking care of her, you know. Teaching her things she's supposed to know. Batting the child. Washing clothes. Doing not maybe a miracle, no? Eh? To make her strong. Betty, do you know that at times if you talk, I begin to wonder if you have said the Beatrice are married years ago. Because you have changed. You are asking me if 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 you if you don't go there, what will happen? How will how how will, how, how, will, how will she cook? How will she uh, is her husband not there? Is her husband not there? Let her husband enter the kitchen and cook for, her, for his wife. Wash uh, uh, the baby's clothes. Or better say, you said the one that to go there. She's a woman. Oh, Kuego. Oh, Rona and Kodia. Is she not a woman? How can I send this little girl to, 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 to Omugwa? What does she know? 
this one. Ah? Okay, what does she know? Hey! But you said that she will be cooking my food. To go and cook for your daughter, this thing, and her husband, she's a small girl. But is it, not a small girl to cook for her Is it all about cooking food? Now, let me tell you something. I got more one million. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you You see this one? You will go there, but on one condition. That you will not stay there more than a day. If you live here now, first thing tomorrow morning, before 8 o'clock, you are back to this place. Nine. Failing to do that, you will come back here and meet another woman. Nine, Kawashi. I'm not coming back tomorrow. As for women, Load this uh, this house with women. Eh? I don't care. Eh? Eh? 20, 50 on that uh, this evening. Load them, I, I don't care. Yes. Have you forgotten? Beatrice, have, have you forgotten? Forgotten what? No, I forgotten what? Your family's problem. Have you forgotten that I am the one that sponsored your father's barrier? On condition that I will hate all his properties. I will hear them. So if you don't take time, I will just come to your family and claim everything. I am supposed to hear everything. But I show mercy because I like your family. Don't push me to the wall. Because if I change my mind to claim those things, even your brothers cannot face me. You know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Go for me. Stay there for eternity. I see what will happen. Don't worry, I'll be cooking for you. I'll be cooking for you. I'll be cooking for you. You'll be cooking for me. You heard what I said? 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you mean Papa threatened you with that? My daughter. Your father is so impossible. So impossible. I don't know. That is why I must go tomorrow. I don't know why he's like that. I don't just know. Please, I must go. Father, to answer your question, my law hates me. Yes, he hates me because I am now poor. But he forgets that he met me a rich man. If not for this fire incident, I mean, I mean, would he do this? Would he say you will only stay one day? There is God, there is God, that's all I will say, there is God. Mama, let me ask you, is that your husband truly my father? Ugumba, are you in any way accusing me of sleeping around with men outside my marriage? Mama, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Mama, I'm sorry, please. Mama, please, you're sorry. I'm sorry. She's sorry. Please forgive her. It's just that, you know, she's surprised that her father will be acting this way in her current condition. She's sorry. Please, we are sorry. It's okay. I understand. Meanwhile, my sister will be coming to stay with you. She will do whatever I am supposed to do for the Omogo. She's a mother. You mean Auntie Agnes? Yes. Will she come? Yes. I have discussed with her. She'll be here by tomorrow. It's okay. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Why are you thanking me? Am I not ashamed of myself? I am. I am not even happy that I'm not the one taking care of my daughter because of her father's behavior. But there's no problem. I saw Bialon your machine is here. This well. This well. Let me go and boil water for you to take your bath since our baby is already sleeping. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I wish it's my mother that is staying true for this Omungo. It's okay. Your auntie is also a mother, so technically everything will be the same. I know she's a mother, but not like my mother now. It's my okay. mother is my mother. It's okay. It can't be like my everything mother. It'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. God knows best. God knows best. Nne, won't you go and check the food on the fire before it gets burnt? The food is not done. I checked it for me, Sebo. Uh -huh. I don't want your uncle to come back and start complaining. You know, you know the, the first thing he will ask that is food. Food. Hey, Mama, I would like to go and see this to go and Oh, don't worry, you will go. Oh, there's still time for it. Uncle is back. Open the gate. Oh. <laughs> now you are welcome. Uh, How are they now? Uh, they are fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, they are fine. Uh, they are fine. Uh, go and get me the water to drink. Okay. Yati. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Let me tell you. You see that boy that calls himself my in-law and uh, our daughter? I don't, I, I, I don't understand them at all. Or I, 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 don't know, I don't know if what they are, the only thing they are good at is eating fresh fish and uh, 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 salad soup. <laughs> if you see the kind of fresh fish they served me, you will ask yourself if they are the same people we are saying that they are poor. I don't know if the money people are dashing the child and uh, the, the money uh, somebody is getting from they are, they are using it to, uh, to eat fresh fish and, uh, and, and the salad soup. Somebody will tell me that hey, they are poor, they are poor. Go there and see, see things for yourself. The fresh fish they served me, I don't know that. It's bigger than this, this, this bag. Okwego. Is it a crime for them to welcome you well with good food? Are we all job? Huh? Anyways, even if they didn't give you anything, you will still complain. Because that is your nature. Must it be fresh fish? Am I there, Mete? Eh? Eh? Mostly be fresh fish. Don't you know how much fresh fish is sold in the market? Huh? Please let me ask you. I hope you gave them money after eating that uh, 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 salad soup. I gave them money. I gave them money. Like how much? How much I gave is none of your business. Mm. I gave them enough money. One night I bring the water now. <clears throat> um, I hope the food. One must ask about. Uh, food. There the is food. I, I uh, food. There is food. Only a funny. Huh? Ah. 
Yeah, I want to eat that soup again. I'll prepare it, don't worry. Um, um, yeah? my love. Yes. How about the Pampas money you promised to give me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm so sorry, I'm so, oh. so sorry. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hi. Said how much? 1,400. 1,400. 1,000. You can look. You can look. You know all the money I have, everything. You uh -huh. can look. Thousand naira. You will. Yeah, if you need anything uh, Thank you. else, just go ahead. Eh? Okay. Huh? All right, my love. Mm? Take care. Yeah, you mm? take care. I wish you plenty customers today and plenty of money. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> mm? You be careful, you okay? You be careful, eh? I remember right. everything will be fine. I know. I'll I be believe back on my you. feet again. Everything will be fine. I believe in you. This is just a process. I know. Okay. All right, take care of yourself. All right, eh? be careful, though. You too be careful, eh? Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be careful, lo. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. Try, try, please. Let's go. It's okay, please. Please. It's okay. Please take it easy here. Take it easy here. Easy. Right, let's go. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. It's take it easy. It's okay. Uh, Agatha, lock the door. Lock the door. Okay, okay. Come and help me, please. Fast, 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 fast. Please, from that side. There. Okay. Okay. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, you want me to come and pick you up later? Eh? What time? Five o'clock. Ah, five o'clock. But you know that your place is far now. Okay, okay, no problem. But I'm not talking too much. But you do me well, oh. you do me well. Because that your place is far. No, no problem. Do me well. Okay. Do me well. Uh, no vex, you know. I don't like to write uh, when. Uh, uh. Doctor, please. What do we do? Because I don't want to lose my mother. 
as I said before, it's either we bring a specialist down here to treat your mother, or we take your mother down to a new home. Either way we decide, you have to make a deposit of 500,000 naira. Yes. You see, your mother is suffering for a cervical cancer. And with my test I carried out, the thing has spread. We have limited time to save that woman's life. She's important to you, so it's important to us. So we just have to do something and so we can save her life. Doctor, honestly, I do not have that kind of money. But if I manage to, if I, if I, if I manage to raise the money, uh, how long will it take you to invite the doctor from Enugu? That will not take a long time. Immediately you deposit the money, I put call, he will be here. It won't take time. Doctor, please. Can you collect 250,000 naira? I, I can't afford 500,000 naira, honestly. If we have to take your mother to Enugu, it will be more expensive. Okay? Besides, the person we are talking about is a specialist. And the equipment that will be used are very expensive. I would suggest we run around to do that now. Now that we still have the time. Please. Okay, doctor, I'll ask you what I can do. Yes. Uh, right, you, you have to be fast, okay? <clears throat> Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. I don't want to lose my mother. Please, they know my Please what help me. It? I don't want to lose my mother. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What is it? My mother, I have surgery. The, the, the doctor asked for 500,000 naira. Please, I, I need your help. Please, I beg you. Please. 500,000 naira? Yes, uncle. It's okay. I will give you the money. You will give me the money? Uncle, may God bless you. Uncle, anything you lay your hands upon shall continue to prosper. Uncle, you will never lack in this life. Your generation will never lack in this life. In fact, your generations to come, uncle, will never lack in this life. See. May God continue to bless you, uncle. See. God bless you. You know what? Yes, uncle. It has to be on one condition. You have to use what you have to get what you want. Use what I have to get what I want. Exactly. Uncle, I don't understand. Can you explain to me? You have to give me that portion of land at the new site. Then. I will give you the money. Uncle, how, how can you talk this way? That portion of land for 500,000 naira. But Uncle, that the same portion of land. You remember that somebody came last year to buy that the same land for 2.5 million naira. And I refused. Uncle, that was the only land my father left. I know, Bim. The only land my father left for me. For five, oh no, come on, uncle. You know, I, I, that, that's not possible. It's, it's not possible, uncle. I was about to leave him when you came. If you know you are not comfortable with what I said, because I didn't say this for us to be dragging issues. If you are not comfortable with it, you can lose somewhere else to get the money. Or don't you know this is an emergency? Uh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's okay, uncle. I, can, 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 can I have the money now? You have to come back tomorrow. Uncle, tomorrow is too far. I will lose my mother if I don't pay the money today, please, uncle. Biko, please, please. I beg you, I need the money today, please. Just okay. take it, take the land, 500,000, no problem. It's, I, it's, I need the money today, it's, please. It's, it's all right. You know what? I'll have to instruct my lawyer to prepare the documents. Simple as that. Uncle, if I just give me the money, why you instruct your lawyer don't to prepare worry. it? Don't worry. The lawyer will prepare the documents, eh? It's okay. You can go. Just come back, like I said, tomorrow. The money will be ready for you. It's all right. Go well and extend my greetings to your mother. If you'll excuse me, yeah? Uncle? Uh, uncle, but what, 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 what did... Don't worry, I said come back tomorrow. Why is uncle this wicked? Why? So he refused to give you the money. He refused. Unless you give him our only land. Hey! That man is wicked. Yeah.
get it, postpone it till tomorrow, knowing how urgent we need this money. You see why I told you not to go and meet him for that money? I knew he would not do anything. You see, that man is wicked. God, it's only God that we, that we pay him. But no problem, we are in this life together. I don't know why uncle hates us this much, honestly. The reason behind this hatred is what I still can't fat until now. I don't now. even know. I can't tell. But right now, we don't have any option. So, tomorrow I'll go and meet him, sign the documents, let him have the land. We need this money for this surgery, honestly. Yeah. But don't worry. And I'll make money official. I'll buy more land. And but brother, must you go and meet him again? Why don't you just look for a buyer to, to sell the land to and make money? What do you think? The time is too short. The doctor said we have to raise the money from now to tomorrow morning. Else something might, terrible might happen. Hey. Hey God, why? 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 Why all this problem? Why? Why is Uncle this wicked? Why? Why all this? What have we done? Agatha, please. This is no time for this lamentation, please. Um, we, we have to go home, okay? Because you have to cook and bring back food to Mama this night. Then I have to sleep over. In the morning, I will meet Uncle, sign the documents, get the money. But meanwhile, I think I have to tell the doctor to hold on for me till tomorrow morning. Then you meet one of the nurses and tell them to look after Mama, depending when you come back. Okay? No problem. Okay. Man, this man is very wicked. Okay. He's very wicked. Okay. God will judge him. It's okay. God will judge him. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Let's go. Forbid. It is not his portion. Huh? Nothing bad will happen to him. Huh? You know all these transporters. Eh? Some days are like that. Please. Hi. But why didn't he at least call me or leave a message for me? I mean anything just so I'm not worried. Maybe he might have low battery. Eh? Come and sit down. Stop well, worrying. I know that I'll be worried now. Somebody that's never been out for this late. It's okay. Oh, God. Let's go inside. I'm not going inside. I'm going to be here until he comes back. I'm not going inside. I'm not going inside. I'll keep dialing this number. 
Hey God, switch off, switch off, switch off. off. Please. Hey God. Maybe it's low battery. Hey. Huh? God, I have a strong feeling that something has happened. No, and Sid, I don't know, but this is unlike him. This is unlike my husband. Hey, ha! A lot happened to him. Oh God, have mercy on us, so. Eh? What happened? Hey! What is this? Jesus. Blood! What happened? What happened to you? Where, where is your keke? Please, please. Let me no. just go inside. Hey. Talk to me! Please let me go inside. Hey, God! Hey. Hey. What is this? All this, and the police took all your monies again. Mm. Ah, this is too much now. Mm. So, so ha! Ah, those policemen are very wicked. For seeing your condition, instead of them to accompany you to the hospital, what they were after was your money. Tomorrow they will say that eh, they are protecting lives and properties without knowing that some of them are criminals. They are the actual thieves. Eh? Uh -uh. God will punish them. God must punish them very well. Hey. Hey. Um, my love, the, 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 the man and his sister, uh -huh. where are they from? Yes. The truth is, if I see them, I will not recognize them. If I uh -huh. see them tomorrow, next tomorrow, I might not recognize who they are. There was no time for introductions. Oh. But my happiness is that I did what my spirit told me to do. Hey. I saved a life, took the boy to the hospital. Exactly. And I thank God. Hey. Thank God. Father, I thank you. Thank you. And we thank God for bringing you back alive to us. Huh? We're all worried. I had a strong feeling that something was wrong. You said But it. thank God. Because anything could have happened though. Yes. They could have shot him. Uh-uh. They could have shot him. Mm. Hey God. God. Hey God, I thank you. Thank you I Jesus. thank you. Thank you for bringing back my husband. Save. 
and her life. Hey, my dear, let me go and get your food. Hey, mama, mama, please, 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 please. Huh? No, I'm not hungry. I'm not in that mood. I just want to, you know, no, I want to just rest. Let me sit down after I go and sleep. You know, you just I, need something no, 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 please. I just need to rest, okay? Should I, I make tea for you? No need, something hot. no need, no need, no need, no need, no need, no need. Of what happened? Of course, it's because of what happened. It's because of what happened. It's only because of what happened. What am I going to tell her father? What? No, what will I tell him? What will I tell him happened to his keke? What, what am I going to say? How am I going to construct my sentence? Sweetheart. You are going to tell him exactly what happened to his keke. Very simple. His keke was snatched. At gunpoint, you were helpless. I mean, what is there not to understand? This could have happened to anyone. It is not your fault. Okay, it don't sound like you're not grateful to be alive. Anything could have happened to you, but here you are. A life. We should be grateful for that. This can happen to anybody. It's not your fault. And you think you will believe? And you think you will just believe my story and just take it like that, knowing who your father is? You know your father doesn't like me. You know the conditions he gave before he gave me that keke? You know. So why would I face him? What do I tell him? Sweetheart. I still think you should go and see him. See him and explain to him first. He's not a devil. It's only a devil that will not understand that this is a possibility. Okay? You were helpless. It is not your fault. It was a case of life and death. And you came out alive. Uncle, and shouting. Uncle, there's a problem. Uh, uh, there's by the way, where is Sonima? He's supposed to be here this morning. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a problem. Um, last night, Wilma and I were coming from the hospital, and all of a sudden, a speeding vehicle hit Oyema, and it ran away. Oh God, I speak with you right now. Oyema is at the hospital at the point of death. Uncle, please help me. What is all this? Mother and son critically ill at the hospital. I don't know. Your brother is supposed to be here this morning to collect the money I promised to give him. And also to sign the land document he promised to give me. 
good as why I'm here. Since it's not available, I can sign it, uncle. Please let me just sign it so that I can come with the money to pay for my brothers and my mother's hospital bill. I beg you, please. I don't want to lose my people. I don't want to lose my mother. I don't want to lose my brother. Please, I beg you. Oh, I beg you. Because. Women don't sign land documents. We have to wait for your brother to get away from the hospital. Hey, oh, so that you can sign the documents and oh, collect the money. Hey, oh, uncle, please, please don't do this. I don't want to lose my brother and my mother. I beg you, please. Listen, I, I need to give them this money. The doctor said my mother has limited time. If I don't pay this money now, I might lose my mother. I beg you. I beg you, uncle, please. Uncle. Uh, you heard what I said. That won't be possible. We have to wait for your brother to get well. Then sign the documents, then I will give him the money. Aside that, there is little or nothing I can do. Can't you get it? Uncle, why are you this wicked? Oh, why are you this wicked? What have we done to you? What have we done to you? Why are you this wicked? Ever since I lost my father, you have been treating us badly. Why? Why are you this wicked? Even if you don't want to give us the land paper. Okay, give me money. Let me go and settle this thing for my mother and my brother. I want to come back or even I will sign it for you. Why are you so mean and wicked? Why are you heartless? I just told you that I'm about to lose my, 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 my mother. Your, your brother's wife. And you're this wicked. Even my brother. Don't you have conscience? Ever since I lost my brother, you have been wicked to us. You have been treating us badly. Is that fair? Why are you this wicked? Uncle, Uncle, please. Okay, I won't shout again. I will do small, small. When you are done ranting, you know your way out. Uncle, please. Uncle, I'm, I'm, I'm talking small, small. I'm not ranting again. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. I won't do this. Please, baby. Uncle, 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 please. No. Uncle. Ah! Uncle. 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 Ah! Okay, I won't shout again. Uncle, please. Please. Please! Please! <laughs> I'm not going to leave this place! I will not leave here! I will leave this place until you give us that money! I will leave this place until you give us that money! Uncle, fear God and give me this money! Yo. Fear God and give me this money! Fear God! Fear God and give me this money! I will leave this place! I will leave Uncle, I will not leave here until you give me this money! I will leave here until you give me this money! I'm not going to leave! Okay. Ah. The woman you were trained, Mrs. Osofa, have you confirmed from the account department if the money I asked the children to deposit for her surgery has been deposited? 500000 Um, So I confirmed, but okay. they haven't paid the money. Besides, since yesterday they left this hospital and begged me to watch their mother, I haven't seen them. <sighs> it's alright. Listen, if in the next 20 minutes the children are not here with that money, bring that woman down to the floor. Okay? And prepare that word for other important patients. I don't trade business here, okay? But sir, if... Listen to me. Do as I say. And bring this fight to my office immediately. What do I do now? What do I do now? My mother is at the hospital at the point of death. What do I do? I don't even have money to deposit. And the doctor said, if I don't deposit any money, my mother will die. No. Oh no, God, you can't allow this. You can't allow this. I beg you. My brother is in another hospital. There's no money to deposit. There's no money to deposit. I don't want to lose my brother. I don't want to lose my mother. God, please. Please. God, please. Please help me. I don't want to lose. 
What do I do? What do I do? What do? Ah, uh, Mr. Chukuma. My nurse said you want to see me. What's the problem? Are you sick? Well, doctor, I don't have any problem. Okay. I came to see my friend's brother that was admitted into your hospital. So I realized that he had been discharged yesterday. Okay. So as I was about leaving, doctor, I saw a woman who was seriously sick lying outside at your passage. So I called one of your nurses and I asked her what could be the problem. And she said I should come and ask you, doctor, what is the problem? Uh, Mr. Chukuma, right? Well, as you rightly say, the woman you saw there is very sick. I shouldn't have brought her yesterday, but up till now we've not seen them. They left in search of the money I asked them to bring for her surgery. And we have not heard from them. The woman is very, very sick. She's suffering from cancer. And the cancer has spread all over her body. She has limited time to live. Hence, I asked them to keep her there. Doctor. At least you have instructed one of your nurses to take her to the ward, not outside. For God's sake, this is human being. What if she's your mother or one of your relatives? Money is not everything, doctor. Mr. You would have saved our lives first. Mr. Shukuma, can you calm down? Okay? This is hospital. We have rules and regulations. We have procedures. We have laid down principles. Yeah. Okay? We don't do buying and selling here. Listen to me. The facilities you are seeing here, they are quite expensive. They are all imported. We pay our staff highly here. We need money to take care of all this. Okay? Mr. Shukuma, how do I help you? How much are we talking about? 500,000. With 500,000, we are good to go. So you mean if I give you 500,000 now, now, that woman there will be saved, right? Sure. Very well then. I'll give you 600,000. 500,000 naira for her surgery, then 100,000 after the surgery to take care of herself. That's good. How do you want it? Transfer or cash? If you have the cash, it will be better. <laughs> Doctor, this is human life you are talking about. Yes. We have to follow the down principle and procedure. <laughs> okay. That's 400,000. I hope it's complete. So my balance? Send me your account number for your balance. The account number, okay. Uh, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Six, six. Uh, that's how it happens, sir. Okay, will you shut up? I said, keep quiet. Come, I want you to look at this. Take a look at this book. Look at it. Look at it. Swap with all here. You are owing me for yesterday, and even today, not minding that uh, this is morning. You are owing me yesterday and today, and you, you, you are here to tell me this rubbish. Sir. How do you mean that I, I'm, 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 I'm not uh, snatch, snatch my kick away from you? Sir. Do you know you are a thief? Sir. You are an idiot. You are... Shut up. 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 So you think that you, if you come here this morning to tell me this or you say story, I, 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 I will believe you and, and clap for you. Sir, sir, I'm, I'm, you know me oh, now. Oh, I, I, I won't do this now. You went and sold my keke. Ha. And come here to tell me. Sir. Stop, sir. sir. Listen to me. I am giving you five days to return my keke. Failing to do that, you will say understand. Sir. By the way, let me ask you. When did you become a good Samaritan that goes around? Looking for accident victims to take to the hospital. Sir, please. I mean, what, what do I have to gain by lying? What do I have to gain? I mean, what do I have to gain? I have integrity, sir. The truth of the matter is everything I told you, sir. That's it. Now, why would listen I lie? To me, listen to me. Whether you are telling me lies or not, all I need is my keke. Sir. You told my keke. You were in tactics. You were not bad. You told all my keke. Mommy, please, now. What am I even saying? Five? Three days. I'm giving you three days to the tomac again. For him to do that, you will stay on that side of me. Ah, Milo, please now, please. I have something to say. Like, if you ask me, oh, I will just suggest we forget about this, Keke. Huh? What did you just say? Forget about the Keke. Forget my Keke? Eh, 
Let's just thank God. Do you know how much I bought that cake? Do you know how much I bought that cake? You are asking me to forget. Do you know how many hundreds of thousands I bought that cake? Even the tire. You know how much they said the, the, the tire in the market. I'm sure I should forget it. Anyway, thank God you say if I ask you, and I thank God that I did not ask you. So keep your mouth shut. So for my keke, my keke, my in law, please, my mommy, people, talk to him, please, my in law, you know me. I so mean, I would never do so, sir. I will never, please, sir, please, sir. My in law, leave my house and go and find my keke. My in law, leave my house. No, just leave. Just go. I will see you. I can never. I can never. Leave my house. I will see you. Don't want to taste you. No one has told me to take it. I can't. 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 Please calm down. Did you not tell her that her mother is in the theater? Please calm down. Hey! You're a liar! Yeah, How can my mother be in the theater? How can my mother be in the theater? How? We've not paid money for the surgery. How? You both have killed my mother. Come and show me where you oh, came. Come and show me where you came. You... When I came here, I saw your mother's condition and deposited 500,000 naira for your mother's surgery with additional 100,000 naira for you to take care of her. Please. She'll be fine. Please. Wait, 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 wait. You mean some, someone came here and yes, deposited yes, money yes. for my mother? 500,000 naira? An additional 100,000 naira? Yes, 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 exactly. Just calm down, please. She'll be fine, okay? She'll be fine. She'll be fine, okay? No, I'm sorry. Um, what she just said, is it true? I, I am busy inside, please. Okay. Is it true? It's, it's, please, everything, talk to me. Everything she told you is true. I mean, the surgeon just came in not quite long. I was trying to explain to you, but just look at what you did to my clothes. I'm sorry. You need to come. So you mean my father told you all that? He told me that too. Uh, he told me that. I mean, <laughs> and more. He said, if I don't return his keke in three days, that I'll see the stuff he's made of. You know, I pleaded with him. I begged him. He said I should leave his compound. He chased me away. I mean, he sent you out of his compound? Yes. And where was my mother? What did she say? Well, she wanted to say something, you know, in her defense. She wanted to say something, but your father shut her down, telling her not to utter a word. Can you imagine this man? What kind of a, what kind of a human being is this? Mm. So he's not celebrating your life. 
He's not happy that you came out alive. He's talking about his ordinary keke that was stolen. Mm. No, no, what was he expecting you to do? He wanted you to fight with men holding guns. Over a, 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 a keke na pep. Mm. Are you serious? I am, I'm happy that you're alive. I celebrate your life. That's all that matters to me. The keke can go because he cannot make me a widow. My dear. If that is his plan, then back to sender. Mm. Don't work for him. <sighs> My dear, there's no need saying back to send that to your father, please, please. Uh, let's not wish him death. Eh? Let's not wish him death, please. But the truth of the matter is that I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You know, your father doesn't like me. You know, I, I, with the fire in his eyes, what I saw, that man would do something stupid if I don't bring back his keke. He would do something. I'm, I'm afraid for my own life right now. I'm my love, afraid. just calm down. You know what? I'm going to go over and talk him out of any stupid ideas that, hey, might, that, hey, that must be going through hey, his please, head. Please, I hope you're not going to shout at your father. Of course I will shout. No, no, why, no. no. Why would he ask you to return a keke that was clearly taken mm. at gunpoint? Hey, hey, or he wants you to fight with someone. No, 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 no. Don't so die. No. He wants to turn me into a widow. Hey, hey, no, no, my love, please, oh, please, please, please. Take care of my baby. Please, don't shout at Please, please. That three days for you to produce a keke that was. My love, don't shout at him. Oh, I'm afraid. Okay. He's stable. What about his sister? Doctor, she left the hospital since the morning. I've not seen her. Has she made any payment? No, Doctor. Okay, well, the most important thing is that he's recovering gradually. And please, make sure you take good care of him and monitor the trip until he wakes up. Yes, Doctor. All right. Please, when you go out there, tell Nurse Jane to get the woman's file to my office. Okay, Doctor. All right, thank you. Papa. You and I know that there's no way my husband will intentionally allow his keke to be taken away from him. Because that's the only source of our, our, our livelihood. Papa, the keke was taken at gunpoint. What were you expecting him to do? Fight men with guns? Eh, Papa? Ha! Papa, I don't understand you. I don't know why you think my husband would just allow his only source of livelihood to, to be taken away from him. I should forgive him. I should forgive your husband so that my kike will just go like that. Let me ask you, what was he doing outside? Or where was he going by that time before those boys saw him and took away my kike? Eh? Or maybe he went to see one of his girlfriends and uh, another person he's dragging the girl with saw him with his boss and overpowered him and took away my kike and he's telling me stories because I don't believe him. Or he has sold my kike. Papa, is it my husband you're describing like this? Papa, is it the man I married that you're describing like this? Let me tell you, Sopuru is not an irresponsible man. He is not. Papa, please, the keke is gone as it is now. So what's the way forward? That's what I want to know. What are we going to do? My husband is clearly not the man in this story you're painting. He is not. He's not that kind of a man. I know who I married. I know him. I know my husband so well. He won't do that. Your husband... He's not an irresponsible not person. Irresponsible. He's a nice person. You know that was I, your father. I don't know what I'm saying. Papa, whether you know what you're saying, no, or you don't know what you're saying, no, I don't know. That's not my point. But I know what I'm talking about. My husband is not irresponsible. He is not. Papa, see, let's just cut this long story short. Now that this keke has been taken away, what do we do? Which way forward? I told the husband to return my keke within the next three days. Failing to do that. <laughs> Okay, Papa, let me ask you this question. Please, I'm asking you this so that everybody can just be clear on this, on this matter. Supposing in three days, my husband is not able to provide this keke because I've never seen, seen a possibility in this life that this keke will be out in three days. A keke that was taken by criminals with guns. I don't know how I'm going to recover in three days. Though. So let's just start assuming now that this keke is not available. What happens? Then let him get ready to pay for his crime. Papa, let him get ready to pay for his crime. Really? Mama, you are here. Oh. 
Oh, you can hear Papa. You can hear this man. You can hear what he's saying. That my husband should be ready to pay for his crime. What crime? No, tell me, what crime has my husband committed? Did he steal your keke? Is he the one that stole it? You are not happy that he's alive. What if he was dead? Would you have been dragging your keke by now? What kind of human are you, Papa? What is it? My daughter, your husband was here in the morning. I listened to his stories and I believed him. I was trying to explain to your father, trying to tell him to forgive him because I believe he was telling the truth. But you know what? Your father nearly hit me. He warned me seriously that I should not put my mouth on serious matters like this. That's why you see me keeping quiet. I don't know what to say again. He said your husband will pay for his crime. I am watching to see. I am just watching to see how it will go. Papa, God is watching you. God is watching you, Papa. I've always known that you've been wicked, though, but I never knew it was going to be to this extent. I didn't know your wickedness is to this extent, Papa. No problem. I have said what I've said, though. Forgive him and let's all move on. Let's put this behind us and move on. I am done talking. Mama. Tell your husband to become a Jekesembo. Mama, be cool. I'm out of this place. Before, before, before I do something, something bad. Bye-bye, yes, yes. okay, You see it? You see your daughter? You see your daughter? Jumping, shouting at me, running her mouth on top of my kick her husband's shoulder. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, doctor, I'm... Please, uh, uh, you are back? Yes, yes, I'm back. Um, is my mother still alive? My mother. Okay. It's okay. okay. You can go in and see her. Okay? Okay. Okay. But don't make a noise. She needs all the rest in the world, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, doctor, please. I'm sorry. Please, I want to be sure. Is she still alive? Of course she's alive. You don't believe me when Thank I say you. that. Thank you. Thank you. My mom okay? She'll be fine. She's just sleeping because of the injection that was given to her before the surgery. But don't worry, she'll soon wake up. Are you sure? Yes, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Please do not disturb her. And if you need anything, I'm at reception. Please don't disturb her. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy, you know said you'll be fine. Okay. Doctor, you sent for me. Yes. 
Twist Away I asked you and your brother yesterday to go get money for your mother's surgery And you didn't come back? What happened? My brother is at the hospital, doctor. Hospital? Yes. What, what happened? When we left here last night, I crossed to the other side of the road to get something. And my brother was trying to cross over to the other side. And then, a speeding vehicle hit my brother and ran away. So sorry. Nobody agreed to help us out. Luckily, uh, a KK man helped us and took us to another hospital. This is so sympathetic. So sorry. How is your brother now? How is he doing? Doctor, please, um, I want to ask you, please, um, the person that paid for my mother's surgery, who is he? I don't know him. He came around to see a patient in the hospital here, and the person he came to see him had already been discharged, and he came into the bishop, asked me some question, and I explained to him what happened, and he decided to help. I don't understand, Doctor. What do you mean you don't know him? You don't know his name? Okay. What's his name? Do you have his phone number? Where is he from? Honestly, everything happened very, very fast. I could not get his phone number. Uh, let's have a guess. He dropped 100,000 euros that you should buy some things and take care of your mother. <laughs> Doctor, the, he dropped 100,000 naira for me. Please, this, this person is a spirit or a human being. If you ask me, who will I ask? I presume you just do what he asks you to do. Buy some things. Your mother needs some things now, okay? You'll be fine. Your brother will be fine too. Just, just go and take your food, mother, okay? Excuse me, I will be busy now. Can I go? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Lord bless you. Hospital. Agata. Agata. Where is my sister Agata? Where? Where is Agata? Where is my mom? Where is my mother? Agata is coming and your mother is fine. Where? Agata is coming. My mother is fine. Mama is fine. Ah. 
I am in the hospital. Ah. Where's my mother? Where's my mother? I'm fine. <sighs> Good better is coming. Mama. Oh God. Mama. 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 No, you have to calm down. Calm down, please. <sighs> We lost yourself. Don't overstress yourself, please. Please. Please, I didn't sell the keke. I did not. I swear to God, I didn't. What happened is, on my way back home, I met this girl who, you know, was shouting that her brother was hit by a car. I decided to be a good Samaritan and help the man. I put him in, the, in my keke with the girl's help, of course. On going to the hospital, Amrobas attacked us with guns. They took my keke away. And I still took that man to the hospital yes, that same day. As this thing happened. In fact, that day I walked about five kilometers back home. Why would I sell keke? For what reason? Something I'm eating from? My in-laws thing? Why? What will I gain? It's true. My husband is saying the truth, officer. My husband is not a thief. My, I don't know why my father is doing this. This is just sheer wickedness and nothing else. Please, just have mercy. Have mercy on my husband. Look at me. Look at my baby. My baby is barely one month old. I had an operation. If you keep my husband here, how do I feed? How do I cope? I, I'm barely healed. Please help me. Help me, officer. Madam. Yes, sir. I have heard you. Yeah. But I want to ask your husband one question. Okay. And that is the only thing that will make me believe that everything he's saying here is true. Okay, okay sir. Ask, him, ask, ask me, him. sir. Ask me. Ask okay. okay. Yes, sir. It's all right. Um, Mr. Sopo. Sir. That night the cake was snatched from you. Yes, sir. Did you make any formal report to the police station? Uh, uh, um, no, 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 no. No, sir. Mr. Sopo. Sir. Your key was snatched from you and you did not make any report to the police station about what happened. So how do you expect me to believe that all these stories is true? It's true, sir. It's true. Okay. It's okay. true. Now, what if that night the robbers used that keke to go for robbery and the police attacked them and abandoned the keke and ran away? So is this the same story you will go and tell the police station? Is it somebody go there and tell them? Um, officer, what actually happened that night was uh, the, the incident happened very late in the night and there was no station around where it happened. That's why he couldn't make a report. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, Mr. Sopo, yes, listen, sir. listen to me. Uh, the whole thing lies in the hands of your father-in-law. Hi. Uh, if you can go and talk to him and he tells us to release you, fine, release you. But if he says no, you will face the law. Sir, please. You, you can't go free. Sir, please. Why, why would this I... This is a serious why? case. Why? Please. Why would I sell my in-laws care For what reason? Nobody will believe this story. Please. We work according to procedure. Ha. Ah. Problem. See, hey, problem. Hey, God. It's not, it's not. You can't go like that. Sir, please. Um, doctor, I want to thank you very much for taking care of my brother, even without um, asking for money. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. You see, you don't need to thank me. It's my job to save lives. You see, a good doctor will first of all save the life of his or her patients before talking about money. Even if the patient doesn't have the money, he or she will have to pay gradually. Though most people misuse this kindness. But I want to let you know that wicked people will never go unpunished. Um. Doctor, not everybody has this kind of wisdom and understanding. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. All the same, thank you very much. Um, how much is my brother's bill? Well, the one so far is about 25,500 Naira. Though we still need to give him some injections. And that means he'll be paying some money on the day he'll be discharged. 25,000. Doctor, this is 30,000 Naira. 
sure it will cover up all the other expenses. Well, even if it's not complete, maybe yeah, I can forget the balance. But you have to go to the cashier's office and make the payment. Then I'll direct them on what to do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm just begging you. Papa, I know I cannot fight you. I'm only begging you. Papa, I'm appealing to your conscience. Please, have mercy. Have mercy upon me and my husband and release him. <laughs> Papa, Papa, look at me. My husband has been locked up for days now. How do you want me to cope? What do you want me to do? Oh, look at me. It's just barely how many months I had a CS. How do you want me to cope? How do I feed whatever my child, your grandchild? Papa, please. Mama, people help me talk to Papa. Nai, what do you think you are doing? Please. I'm asking you. Do you want to kill this girl? For the past two days now, you locked up her husband. She has been crying, begging you to release him. You refused. Your own son-in-law. Why are you like this? Why? If not for anything, at least for our grandchild. Do it for our grandchild. I'm begging. Ah, look at your daughter before you. You, 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 you don't even care. <laughs> Mama, be gone, be gone. This is not fair. It is your conscience. In a in a bitchy mood. All this is both of you are saying. How is it my business? Huh? Am I the one holding her husband? Let her husband return my cake and I will call the police uh, uh, to, to, to release him. Huh? Okay, let him return my cake. I will tell the police to release him. Okay, Papa, please. Papa, Papa, please. Papa, help me. Papa, please help me. Papa, I beg you. Papa, Mama, talk to him now, please. Uh, 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 God, in trouble. I'm not the one holding your husband. Papa, please just do something. My keke. Tell your husband to return my keke. Simple. Okwe bie. On our way, Kagani Wemi. Let him return my keke. Mama, you heard him, right? You heard your husband. No problem. Papa, no problem. Hey, Papa, but let me tell you this. If anything happens to my husband, Papa, if anything happens to my husband, hey, Papa, in this life, in the next life, till the end of this life, I will never forgive you. Papa, you know what? You see my husband, kill him. Kill him and bring his cops back to me. Bayam. Papa, in fact, do your worst. Papa, do your worst. Do your worst, Papa. Do your worst. Do your worst. Do your worst. I'm letting you. Do you know how much they take again in the market? You have heard her. And let me tell you. That's your business. You are the blame of you. Do you know how much they take again in the market? Oh, wherever she stands, you stand. Don't worry. Very soon, you will stand with your husband in prison. Talo Muni. No, I got on the leg, okay? He not the joke at all when it comes to mommy. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of this money. Ah, Mama, I'm happy you're better now. Thank God. Uh, Mama. Do you want anything? Are you sure? Okay. Uh, Agatha. Mama. Where is your brother? I've not seen him around. Um he went he went to get money from his friend that promised to give him money. 
He went yesterday. Which of his friends? Um, Mama, you don't know him. Um, he's his new friend. Mama, you have to eat something. No, you, you, you can't tell me you won't, you won't eat anything now. Let me find out from the doctor what kind of food I can get for you to eat, okay? Okay? You eat something. Huh? Thank you. Mama. God bless you, my daughter. Mama, it's nothing, thank God. I mean, how did it happen? I'm talking about the accident. How? Well, I should be asking you that question. How could you not look at the road before crossing? How? Agatha, I wasn't thinking straight that day. I mean, I was lost in thought. So many things were just going through my mind. I thought as much. But well, you should know that the express is not the right place for you to think. Eh? Just imagine if that's came man, that good Samaritan did not come to save you that day. What would have happened to you? You'd have been dead by now. Eh? And now because of you, the Keke man lost his money to policemen. And even lost his Keke to arm robbers. Eh? Only God knows the man's fate right now. What will he tell the owner of the Keke? Who is that guy by the way? Who is he? If you ask me, would I ask? I don't know. I don't know him. I've not seen him before. I don't know. I mean, with the whole situation that night, I wasn't the right frame of mind to ask him his name, his number, where he's from. I don't know. You're not talking about. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. I'm talking about the person that paid for Mama's surgery. You said you don't know the person. About that one, I don't know him. I don't know, I've not seen him before. Even the doctor said he hasn't seen him before. That he came to his office to check one of his patients, but the patient was already discharged. So he dropped money and paid 500,000 naira with an extra 100,000 naira. I took out of the 100,000 naira to pay for your hospital bill. I don't know him. What do we call this? Could this person be an angel, a human, or? An immortal. I don't know. All I know is this is a miracle. Miracle. So how? I don't know. Uh, should I call the doctor? No, no, don't worry. I... Are you sure? That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, how is Mama? She's fine. She's fine. She's doing okay, but I didn't tell her. What happened to you? Of course. Else you'll be worried. Mm. I'll be fine. Oh, this is miracle. This is miracle. What happened to you? Mama, I... I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. You're fine like this. Ma. What happened to your brother? Um, Mama, nothing. He's fine. He will explain to you later. Um, he just had a minor accident. That's all. Did I hear you say minor accident? With his hand bandaged like this and the plaster on his head. Mama, he will be fine. Huh? He will explain to you. Uh, Mama, I, this is it's nothing serious. Just like Agatha just said. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. It's just um, minor bruises here and there. And uh, the bandage is just to cover up the, the bruises, okay? Don't worry. I hope you're getting stronger. I'm not fine. Don't you tell me what happened to you. Easy, easy, mama. Easy. I'm gonna take it easy. Easy. Honestly, I am fine. I got that. Mommy. 
has Mama eaten anything? Oh yes, yes. Um, she she has eaten. I gave her food before she took her drugs. Okay. Smile. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, smile. You, you'll be fine. Okay? When it comes to mommy, Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of his money. Okwego, he got a job with his business. Now, only money language, he can make you day. No, I, I want to ask you something. Hmm? I said I want to ask you something. Yes, what is it? When are you bringing Supper our son-in-law out of the police station. It's only the law that can say that because he will be taken to court on Monday. What? To court? For what? For the criminal offense he committed. Which criminal offense? And I am asking you, which criminal offense? And I am asking you, which criminal offense? But you heard him say that it was armed robbers that snatched the KK from him at gunpoint. And you believed him? Yes, I believed him. I believe him because I know he is innocent. He's a good person. I know he can't do such thing you are accusing him of. And I have every reason to doubt him because that boy is a thief. And if I don't teach him a lesson, he will not say the truth. Okay, go. Okay, go. Where is my husband? Eh? You mad? I'm not mad. Okweko, did I hear that you're taking my husband to court on Monday? Yes. We'll be taken to court on Monday. But he still has the chance to return my keke so that I will call the police to forget the matter. Oh, really? Mama, you heard what your husband said. You heard Okweko, didn't you? Please calm down. That was the same issue we were discussing before you walked in. I, I, I've talked to your father to forgive our son-in-law's opera, but he refused. I just don't know what his problem is. I don't know. Mom. Okwego, what have I done to you? What have I ever done to you? What has my husband done to you? Why are you head bent on seeing us suffer? Okwego, are you not tired? Are you not tired of this? I have begged you. I have cried. I've gone on my knees countless times. But you have decided to lock up your heart against me. Because of the wickedness in your heart. You have chosen not to forgive me and my husband. Over what? Because of one tiny old rickety keke. An old useless keke. I miss the so many kekes that you have on the road. Okay, God, you have decided to, to, to destroy my home. You have decided to ruin my happiness. You have decided to destroy my husband. Okwego, tell me why God will not punish you. Now look at me and tell me why God will not punish you. Okwego, you see the wrath of God coming. You cannot escape it. Your punishment is coming. Judgment day is coming. Your day of reckoning is coming. And when it comes, Okwego, you will look for a place to hide your face, but you will not find it. For all the things you've made me go through, I've been on the road with my, my, my newborn baby up and down the station since you locked up my husband. And you're not ashamed of yourself. God will punish you. This is the worst you can do, isn't it? You have shown your power now. But I thought you were bigger than this, really. I really thought I expected more from you. Locking him up, taking him to court. Is that all? Ha! Okay, go do your worst. Okay, go, you can do better now. You can do better. Shameless man. Wicked man. Ugoma. You are talking to me like that. You are talking to me like yes. that. So you have grown wings to talk to me. Huh? You are not my father. My father, my foot. See you in court. Okwego. See you in court. Don't talk, don't, 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 don't even talk to me or in Don't even look at me and say a word. 
You are so shameless. Don't like a mother, like a daughter. I don't blame you. Don't knock one about me. Go to church and run about Only I say about Nafai. Only I say about Nafai. Let him not bring about Makeka and see what will happen to him. And make you know. Come. Your Majesty, I am here to beg you to help me beg my father to release my husband. If he doesn't release him and anything happens to him, I will not forgive him. Oh, please don't say a thing like that. He's your father, no matter what. But not to worry, I will um, send for him uh, so that we talk about this and make sure that um, peace is achieved at the end. But uh, I have a few questions to ask you. Are you sure that uh, your husband was attacked by armed robbers? and the, the KK was cutted uh, at gunpoint. Because I want to know how true this is. Uh, this is you, who knows your husband more than I do. I truly want to know the story so as to do my job. Your Majesty, my husband is not a criminal. Mm. He's a man of good character. There's no way my husband would lie about that. He was truly attacked at some point. He barely made it alive. That is the true story. He's not a thief. Oh, the, the second question is this. Uh, did your husband report to any station, police station, after the incident? No. Uh -huh. According to him, the incident happened in the middle of the night. And there was no police station around where it happened. That's the problem. That is exactly the problem. Not even the police will believe this story. Supposing your husband reported to the police station in the morning, it would have been an easy thing. But never to worry. I will... Um, Call your father, and uh, of course, we we'll take it from there. But be rest assured that uh, we will make peace at the end. So go home. Hmm? Make Majesty. peace with everybody. Thank you. Your Majesty, have a nice day. Um, hello, Ichi Okwego. Uh, how are you? Uh, we are fine. Uh, uh, please, I would like to see you in my palace this evening. Um, it's urgent. There's something I want us to talk about. Uh, sure. Oh, that's good. I appreciate it. Okay. Madam, this money you gave me, what is it for? Uh, officer, like I told you, I am Sopro's mother-in-law. I want you to please plead with your DPO to release him. Pikunami, that boy is innocent. He did not steal the keke. Armed robbers snatched it from him. Please, I'm begging you. Help me and my daughter, his wife, who just came back from the hospital a few weeks ago. Bikonu. Madam, Sopro has told me everything. He has said how it happened, and I believe him. And I've tried talking to your husband to forgive your son-in-law. But rather, he reported me to the DPO. Hey. Accusing me of collecting bribe from Sopro. Okay, go, okay. 
If not, if, if not that my DPO knows the kind of person I am, I would have been in serious trouble by now. Hey, so, madam, I hey. suggest you you either tell his people to pay your husband for the keke, or you plead to your husband to so that we can release him. Talk to your husband, madam. Uh, officer, I heard he will be taken to court on Monday. And please, so Sobu, open Sobu. This boy has no one to help him. Please help us. I'm begging you. Pico. Madam, there is nothing I can do right now. Honestly, at this juncture, my hands are tied. Hi. Madam, please, have your money. Please, please. Take your money, take your money, take. Excuse me. Well, uh, Your Majesty, I've heard all that you have said. But the truth is that I will not tell the police to release that boy. That boy is a criminal. And I will teach him a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. Let him bring back my keke. Um, it's your Okwego. But do you realize that we are talking about your son-in-law here? Your Majesty, that is the more reason I said that that boy is a criminal. In the first place, I told him that I don't want him to marry my daughter. But he went behind me and got her pregnant. Because he knows that if he gets my daughter pregnant, I will have no option than to give, give him my daughter son the marriage. In fact, I wasn't even the one that gave him my daughter son the marriage. It was my wife. <sighs> it's your quibble. As it is now, so how do we unravel the truth behind this and um, settle this matter amicably? Can I read you where we you see, the people of this kingdom are interested in this case. Uh, and if anything goes wrong, uh, they will not take it lightly with you. The boy is just an orphan. Your Majesty, this matter is very simple. It's very simple. Let that boy return my keke. Better still, let the community contribute money and buy another keke for me. Okuana, we me. Uh, Ichi Okwego, you and I know that uh, what you are asking for is not possible. Let me tell you the truth. Your daughter left my palace with bitter heart. She was crying and uh, at the end she swore to me that if anything happens to her husband that she will never forgive you. Imakoku Mada said, I just want you to do something to avert this so that you will not cry, had I know at the end. Your Majesty, sorry. I am talking about my keke. Yes, I know she is my daughter. But let that boy return my keke. Simple. Hmm. Well, I have said what I said. Uh, this is just my own uh, kind of piece of warning. Your Majesty. Um, you were when I uh, uh, that I did not accept what you said. Like I said, there's nothing I can do. Let that boy return my keke. But, uh, I'm sorry for disobeying you, uh, but I'm talking about my business. It's my money. Keke is very costly in the market today. It's not what I would just wave away like that. Let it return my keke. Don't be offended, Your Majesty. You go. I have to be on my way.
Hey, hey, Papa, Papa, do your worst. Hey, do your worst. You can't do anything. You see you in court. It has happened. Let me see how she will come here and run her mouth again. Nonsense. Guess I'll wake a wake camera. Nonsense. No worries. When he comes back, he must be back. Nine. How did it go? Has the courts released our son in law? To release him? For what? One must call to the listen. He has paid for his crime. Paid for his crime? Hmm? I don't understand. He was sentenced to five years imprisonment. What? Oh, go, go. What did you just say? You heard me. Our own son-in-law. The husband of your only daughter. You sent to jail. No. This can't be true. This can't be possible. Okwego, just tell me you are joking. Hey! God! Chibo! Okwego! Do you know you are? So wicked and heartless. You are very wicked and heartless. You are the devil himself. Where did you hide your conscience for crying out loud? Where? You sent our only daughter's husband, our son-in-law, to jail. And you are here comfortably drinking Odeku. Taking your beer. It's my money. I'm enjoying my money. Cost money. My money is a cost your money. Your cost money. Okay. Okwego, I regret the day I married you. Abia. I regret the day I married you. Hey! God, of all men in the world, is Okwego you chose for me. Devil himself, you gave me as a husband. Oh, Gwego, I regret everything about you. I regret everything about you. Okay. Now that you have sent our daughter's husband to prison, what will she be doing? How will she be feeding? Who will be taking care of her and her newborn baby? Because you know her condition. Answer me. You want me to answer you? Beatrice, you want me to answer you? Okay, I will answer you. If she wants, let her come back to this house. I, her father, am still alive. I am ready to provide for her and her child whatever they need. After all, I wasn't in support of that marriage in the first place. Never now, what is it? Your worst, right? Haven't you done your worst? You have sent my husband to prison. Kai Okwego, tell me why God will not punish you. No, tell me why God will not punish you. Not a problem. My husband will go to prison and come back alive. But you see, you Okwego, you will die. You will go to hell. Okwego, you will never make heaven. You will never make heaven. God will punish you. God will punish you. You are a good singer. You God will punish you, Kweko. <laughs> Tell me why God will not punish you. Tell me. What more can you do? You have done the worst you can do, right? This is the best you can do. Wicked man. <laughs> Mama, don't tell me it's okay. Oh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's okay. It's not okay. It is not okay. It is not. Let me finish with this man. By the time God starts dealing with you, by the time God starts dealing with you, Okwego, hey, your money cannot save you. Heartless man. Mama, you were here, I was begging this man. I was crawling and begging this man as if he's God. Okwego, you are not God. Okwego, you cannot play God. You are not God. Ooh, wicked man. Evil man. <laughs> My husband will come back 
alive. My husband will come and meet me and my child alive. But for everything you have made me go through, for every tears that I have dropped because of you, Papa, ah, you will never, you will never die and see God. You will never die and see God. You see that prison, you will go to prison. You see that prison is your leg. You must enter prison. Except my God is not alive. You will enter prison. Evil man, look at him. Tyrant, tyrant, dictator. Look at you. God will punish you. Mama, you see this man? You see this Okwego? I will never have anything in this life to do with this evil man. Not in this life. Till the end of this life. Even in the life after this. You can never, ever be my father. God punish you. Okwego, my foot. You see? Your daughter is a good musician. She's a good singer. And you were enjoying the music. I saw you. You were enjoying the music. She's a good singer. I am so ashamed of you. You are the devil himself. You are so shameless. My daughter sang a song. She sang the song of sorrow. But because... You are too naughty to understand her words. You did not understand her music, the sound of her music. Her song says she has disowned you. I know you don't know the implication of another disowning her own father. You are here relaxed, enjoying her song. I'm ashamed of you. Okwego. I regret the day you tested my flesh. I regret the day I laid on bed with you. And you enjoyed it, didn't you? You enjoyed it very well. You are a devil himself. I regret everything about you. And who cares? You don't care. I don't care. Okwego, a day is coming. And that day is fast approaching. When you will care. You will surely care. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have my food now? That is. You don't want to talk. Okay. Mama. Agatha. Mom. Since we came back from the hospital, I've been worried about this man that saved my life by paying my hospital bills. Even the man that saved Onyema's life, that lost his keke in the process. We need to find them. So that at least we can thank them. Hmm? Mama. Yes. But you are right. You see, I am as confused as you are. That mm. night I was unconscious to even picture his face. And even if I see the young man right now, I won't even recognize him. And the person that paid for your surgery, she don't even know the person. The only person that can solve this puzzle here is uh, Agatha. Oh, Agatha. Um. <laughs> I wish I can. The truth is that the condition for that was that night. I didn't even give me the opportunity to ask him his name, his phone number, where he's from. I was just busy in making sure that the doctor um, I attended to brother very well. Um, as for you, Mama, 
I don't even know the person that paid for your bills. I've not seen him, I don't know him. I did not see him with my eyes. And when I asked the doctor, he said that was the first time for him to see the person that he came to um, see one of his patients. But the person was discharged already. So that's all. I don't know him. I've not seen him. It seems none of us knows any of them. <laughs> this is... This is somehow funny. Agatha, if you see this young man, the KK guy that saved my life, will you recognize him? Mm. I, I think I can. Mm. I can. Please, my daughter. Whenever you go out, look around, search very well if you see him, so that when any man I gets better, we can go and thank him. As for the other man that paid my bills, may God bless him wherever he is. Mama is right. Hmm. Yeah. We need to find out the situation of thing between the Keke guy and the owner of the Keke that the arm robbers snatched. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll try. I'll try. Try. My dear, why are you doing this to yourself? Huh? Look at you cry. Your baby is crying. You still be crying every day and night because your husband is in prison. You know, crying cannot bring him out. Instead, it will cause more problem. Huh? Why would I not cry? See? see, your health matters now. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you doing this to this baby? Eh? Why? Why? It is not my fault. How can I even explain to people that my husband is in prison because my father sent him there? My father sent my husband to prison because of an ordinary keke that he can afford. Auntie, where do I start life from? How do I cope? How am I going to wait for my husband for five whole years to come out of prison? No, it won't be up to five years. It's two years and six months because it counts day and night. As you can see, very soon, your husband will be free. Auntie, even if it's for one week, even if it's for one week, is it easy? Is it it's easy to be in prison for two and a half years, according to you? I know it is not, but I will see what I can do to make sure that you and baby feed. Please. And see how much can you do? You have your own family. Are you going to abandon your family and live here with me all through this period? Who would look after your own family? Don't worry about my family. My family and I will be okay. Huh? Let me take the baby inside and bet him. Hi, okay, go. Okay, go. You have made me suffer. You shall suffer too. There is no peace for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. God! <laughs> What kind of woman beast we have?